That is it, we're all set. And they're off. Bonfire jumped in the air as the Investec Derby field leave the stalls and out early it's Astrology's White Cap who shows well to the fore. Mick Darm is also handy with Thought Worthy as they climb the hill. Rugged Cross and Cavaliero. At this stage Bonfire is in sixth place just ahead of main sequence. Camelot ridden with restraint only has minimised risk behind as Astrology climbs the hill at a reasonable gallop leading by a length or so. From in second Rugged Cross, Cavaliero closer to the rail disputing third place with Thoughtworthy in the white and green. McDarm in the yellow colours, Bonfire the noseband light blue ahead of main sequence in the cross belts. Camelot's purple cap only has one behind and that one is minimise risk. So having got to the front, Astrology is now just setting an even gallop. Thoughtworthy is in second place on the outside of Rugged Cross. Cavaliero is now settled in fourth as Bonfire makes a place moving past McDarm. Then main sequence, Camelot still just with one behind and that is minimise risk at this stage. They're climbing towards the highest point of the course. Astrology out in front for Ryan Moore. Leads by two lengths from Thoughtworthy in second place. In third is Rugged Cross just ahead of Bonfire who's made another place, picking off Cavaliero to move through into fourth. Cavaliero niggled along in fifth place from main sequence Mick Darm. No move yet from Camelot who's won from the back with minimised risk. So Astrology it is who leads the descent towards Tattenham Corner. Thoughtworthy moves closer to within three parts of a length. Bonfire Fire travels okay on the outside of Rugged Cross. Cavaliero and main sequence next. Camelot's now two from the back. McDarm in the yellow colours. And last of all is minimised risk. Tattenham corner and Thoughtworthy moves through to press astrology. And these two quicken off the front end. In third place, Bonfire with Rugged Cross. Camelot moving through into about fifth place, but still has six lengths off these dueling leaders. Astrology, white cap, white colours of Thoughtworthy. Then in third place, Rugged Cross. Bonfire with the noseband. Camelot asked now, move through, is into fifth place, but out in front, Astrology has kicked off the front end and has got a break. It's Camelot who's out after his stable companion, but Astrology got first run and a three-length lead. Camelot hanging down the camber, is beginning to close the initiative as they go inside the final furlong, and now Camelot moves past Astrology into third is main sequence, but up towards the line, it is Camelot who leads by three or four lengths from Astrology, and at the line, the final father and son combination of Joseph and Aidan O'Brien won the Investec Derby with Camelot. Tied for second astrology and main sequence. In fourth was Thoughtworthy, then Bonfire McTarm behind these. Camelot always has been a legend and it remains one. He takes the Investec Derby in Jubilee year in the style that we anticipated, expected, nay demanded. He has obliterated his rivals. He was ridden with supreme confidence off the pace by the 19-year-old Joseph O'Brien for Father Aiden. Aiden ends his 10-year wait for another Derby victory, but he's got it in style, in real style. The runner-up in the Investec Derby is Main Sequence, who has run a tremendous race for David Lanigan, and it is Camelot's pace-setting stable companion, Astrology, who is third. But Camelot prevails, and could we now have a horse to become the first Triple Crown winner since Nijinsky in 1970. Surely that now will be the aim, and what an exciting prospect that is. Pure, pure class. Really hope that's the case, Nick, and uh, you've got the ideal horse.